What's up, YouTube? It is... <sighs> I never know how to, like, introduce these videos. What am I supposed to say? <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Joe. If you don't know me, I am a photographer from D.C., Baltimore area. And today's video is going to be a very cool one. It's one that actually wasn't my idea. This is my dog. So today's video is one that actually is not my idea. Um, my friend Vinny reached out to me on Instagram and he kind of presented this idea for a video um, and we decided to meet up and make it happen. So I'm gonna let him explain what this video is in a second, but uh, we're gonna rewind back to a couple weeks ago when we were out shooting in Union Station. Hopefully this is a fun video for you guys. Enjoy. Hello all. <laughs> the photographer, man. Chicago, DC based um photographer. You guys know me, man. The vintage vandalism. Out with the homie Joe. DC Street. We in Union Station. We doing a little test, man. A test of the monochrome, man. So we doing the uh, Fuji XC4. This is the Leica M9 using the Voltlander uh, 35 1.4. What do you have? I got Fujifilm XE4 Voigtlander 21.4. It's brisk. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Doing straight out of camera JPEGs. I am in H HP5. That's going to be my film simulation I'm using. A little custom one. You got monochrome. Black and white. High contrast. So we're doing straight out of camera JPEGs, gonna see which one does monochrome better, Fuji <laughs> or Leica. All right. I love it, dude. It's difficult as a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and it just gives me a, a greater respect for people who shoot the film, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I do a little bit, but to be honest, 21 millimeter, and I'm usually at like f11, so yeah. I'm getting most things in focus. Um, I like playing with these like arches here. Yeah. But, you know, let's walk down this way a little bit. It is cold as fuck. So, what types of shots do you typically go to in situations like this, where it's not many people, it's not crowded? Usually, what I'll do is. Uh, I'll like find a spot I like, um, kind of post up for a little bit, and then just wait for someone to come. So I'll find a spot, yeah. like hang out. Um, usually I like find a place with harsh light, um, or like playing with windows and reflections, that sort of thing. I do that a lot. And I'll just kind of wait for... Twin clone. I mean, the best way to get good street photos is to go where where the people are um, as much as you can. So, Union Station is a great place for that. It is. Twin I got like probably I want to say now I'm up to like eight eight shots I'm really happy with 
We're gonna maybe pop into the Leica store, take some some photos around there, see how we do. So like this scene right here is really tricky because you have to get be patient and like get all of the right things happening together. So to like take the photo of the smoke, you need the light behind it to really make it dense. Uh, you need the wind to be on your side. So right now it's blowing all the way. Uh, we want it to be coming kind of straight up over this walkway here. Uh, you need someone probably walking this direction. So all those things have to come together in order to get the right shot that we're looking for right here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I, it was a really fun day of shooting. Um, it was really cool to meet up with Vinny. Um, we took some great photos. So I'll kind of throw the final selects onto the screen and we'll let you guys decide whether you prefer the Leica monochrome files or the Fuji monochrome files. So please let me know in the comments below which one you think processes images better. And to be clear, we're we're kind of focusing this experiment on the rendering of the image and you know the way it comes out of the camera as opposed to the subject matter of the image. So keep that in mind. Let us know down below which one you think looks better.
So we actually posted this experiment to our stories to see what our viewers thought of the Leica versus the Fuji files, and we did a little bit of a poll on there. So we had 20 posts go up, and we had nine votes for the Leica, eight votes for the Fuji film, and then three ties. So it was super close, like very, very close, uh, with a slight edge to the Leica. Personally, I gotta admit, I still think the Fuji film files came out looking a little bit better, but that's just me. Why don't you guys let us know below in the comments which ones you thought looked better. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for the next one, got another video coming up pretty soon. And then, ya boys going to France, ayy. Alright, thank you guys for watching, I will see you in the next one. You're a real one.